If you've seen any of my previous green tips, then you'll know that I'm a huge fan of diatomaceous earth. You know, fossilized diatoms that you can spread over your yard or house in order to get rid of anything with an exoskeleton. Even though diatomaceous earth is really good for getting rid of roaches, ants, fleas, and ticks, it can cause harm to bees, which obviously we don't want to do, especially now when bees are in such decline. And they are. But that doesn't mean that we can't use diatomaceous earth. All you have to do is be careful when and how you're using it. For example, if you take the diatomaceous earth and you spread it at night or in the morning when bees aren't foraging, you'll be sure not to harm them when you're putting in an application of it. The other thing you need to be mindful of is where you're putting the diatomaceous earth. You really want to avoid putting it on the flowers and instead focus on the lower areas and the dirt. That's because you don't often find the bees down in the dirt. You see them up on the flowers and the leaves near the flowers. So be sure to keep the diatomaceous earth off of them. Be sure to always check for bee activity before you start applying diatomaceous earth, even if you're applying it to the ground. DE is dust and can fly up into unintended places. Nope, no bees here. Now I should say that there have been some studies that have come out that say that honeybees aren't actually harmed by the diatomaceous earth because of the hairs on their legs. They say that that hair kind of protects them, but if that DE sticks to their hairs and then they're going back into their colony, I just don't know what we're introducing into their hives. So personally, I think we should just follow these simple measures and make sure that our DE is not affecting the honeybee population. So do what you can today to save bees and be sure to apply your DE at night and near the ground. I'm Jason Winningham and this has been your Green Tip of the Week.